everyone. Welcome back. And I'm Tom Slavin. I'm with Michael Smith. How are you doing, Michael? Good day, Tom. I'm do doing fine, thanks. Okay, great. Now, how do you like my accent? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's, I'm getting used to it, actually. Okay. Yeah. Now, you're Australian? I am, yes. And how yes. long have you been here? Um, well, I've been married uh, for, since December and, and essentially living oh, okay. here since then, although the last few years I've spent a lot of time here in the U.S. and my wife spent a lot of time with me in Australia. Okay, now how did you get in aviation? Uh, well, actually, in uh, about 1981, I was uh, hanging out at an airport in Oregon and it was just nearby to, a, to where I was doing some business. And I'd see little airplanes coming and going all day and I thought, when I go home to Australia, I'll learn to fly. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've gone on from there and done an awful lot in in both flying and maintenance and then working for our Australian government in the aviation area, much like working for the FAA here. Okay, well, that's really, uh, you know, it's exciting and planes are exciting. And I think that's one of the great things that you're bringing is some excitement close by. Everybody likes to see airplanes flying by. I absolutely. know I do. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, of course, you know, uh, it's, it's just amazing ever since bar bar barnstorming days, ever since uh, planes have been in the air, yeah. people are just fascinated by them, aren't they? Well, indeed they are. And, you know, we're, we're trying to bring back a lot of that atmosphere to our air show. We describe it as a grassroots air show. People will be able to get close to the performers right. and, and the show. And, uh, and of course, uh, safety has changed things a little since the barnstorming days, but we will still be able to create a lot of that atmosphere. Okay, and little kids love it, adults love it. Ladies like it. Everybody likes Everyone. it. Like the ladies sound, especially the like it. Smell yeah. the smoke. Yeah. Everything. I yeah. think you brought some pictures by. So why don't we get to some of those? Because you know the airplanes kind of speak for themselves and they, they have do. a lot of interest, don't they? They do. So certainly. what do we have here first? Looks okay. Like the first a, picture actually. This was at an, 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 another air show not so long ago, and just coincidentally, four of those those four airplanes are all the four of the performers we'll have. So starting from the front, okay. we've got uh, we've got. Um, Bill Stein will be flying the uh, extra, uh, sorry, the Edge 540. Next okay. to that, the big biplane with a big radial engine, that's Eddie Andrini. That's a fantastic act to, to watch, very okay. big airplane. Followed by Vicky Bensing, does an outstanding show in the extra 300. And then our star performer in the back there is uh, Julie Clark of American Aerobatics in okay, the t they're lined up on the flat. Why don't we get to the next picture, and I think we might get an individual. Sure. Well, what aircraft is this? That's the... That's the, uh, the um, Edge 540 that Bill Stein will be flying. It's okay. a purpose-built aerobatic airplane, single seat, very uh, powerful for its size, and so you'll see a really uh, high energy performance from that particular okay, airplane. Okay, and next, what do we have? Well, that looks like uh, I can't quite see that from here. Is that like him? <laughs> <laughs> that may well be. That may well be. Looks Vicky like, that, looks like same, the same, same ship. Same, yeah. yeah. What's next, so. Alan? Oh, there's Julie Clark, American okay. Aerobatics, in the T34 Mentor. Julie actually bought that airplane surplus in Alaska. Brought it back here to California, spent four years restoring it to its absolutely That's a beautiful pristine. ship and a big ship. Beautiful, it's a really beautiful. big cockpit, doesn't it? It's a nice big cockpit and, and, and puts on a very, very nice... What was that plane used for? That was okay. used as a, as a United States Air Force trainer. And, okay. And that's where Julie bought it from. And okay, the, the so colours and, and, and her show reflects the, the tribute to... Fully to aerobatic the and a lot of people got their wings in that plane. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, what's next? Well, there's Julie that's again. again. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And... Uh, Okay. Okay, that's uh, uh, Hawker Sea Fury. Dennis Sanders from Amador, Amador County will be flying that airplane. He does a brilliant show in in a big radial airplane. Uh, what did you say that was? It's a Hawker a Sea Hawker? Fury. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a It's a military British fighter. Word, it's a warbird well, from uh, Britain, isn't it? it? It is, actually. A lot of air forces and navies in particular used it. Uh, it flew off carriers, and it was probably the last of the piston engine fighters in, in service around the world. And that'll be contrasted by the U.S. Navy bringing a couple of F-18s, so we'll have those in our show as well. Okay, and what do we have next, Alan? Well, there's, uh, there's uh, the Sea Fury again. Okay. Now, that's Dan Buchanan, and he does a, an absolutely outstanding performance in the hang glider. We tow him aloft with a vehicle on the runway, and... Uh, and then he does an outstanding, really outstanding performance for That's going to be a lot of fun and uh, yeah, yeah. pretty awesome. Okay, yeah. now what's next? you have another one? Yeah, that's, um, that's uh, Vicky Bensing in her uh, Extra 300. She'll be doing a, a really high-energy performance as well. Okay, now they fly these pretty low. They do. Many of our performers have clearance to fly those right down to the surface in their shows. And you'll see, if you come to our show on May 19, you'll see them performing very close to the ground okay. in some outstanding performance. And did I hear you right? You said we're going to have some F-18s? We will. The, the, the Navy are sending a couple of F-18s. And, and being uh, it, since it's Armed Forces Day, we expect that there'll be quite a number of military aircraft 
participating, mostly through flybys. We'll have some on the ground, and we may have some demonstrations. How many times do they get a chance? You're going to probably still uh, maybe getting with you to try to say, yeah, we can make it. Or That's right. right? Yeah. Yes, they're just finalizing their schedules for the next month or and so That's now. really cool. That's yeah. way cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be great if we still had made or somewhere. You're going to be 52 come by. Wouldn't that be? Oh, hot? well, we may still have some okay. surprises for everyone there. crew yeah. on a B-52 and also oh, KC-135. Oh, so fantastic. Saw yeah. some great air shows at Wright-Patterson. Yeah. And uh, believe me, they're just all inspiring and uh, a whole lot of fun hearing the noise, the flying by and all Oh, yeah, yeah. So what is it that you fly? Well, at, at home in Australia, I have a beach duchess, but I fly uh, a, a lot of uh, little airplanes, biplanes. I like biplanes, and I, I used to have a business doing rides, barnstorming in a, in a tiger moth. In okay, but most of the time, planes, they fly pretty, you know, we take off, we go, we go here, we fly straight and level. Sure. Not much fun to look at, and not much, oh, not you much know, the, necessarily the, the, fun to be in, but when they're doing their aerobatics... Uh, That's how many a lot of fun. G's are they pulling? Some you know, of those planes, typically like the, the, these these performers will be up to up to five G's or, uh, and around that around that that in their performances. Not much more than that, but that's about what okay, we get Okay, but weighing yeah. five times your weight, that's having right. your heads yeah. all of a sudden weighing, uh, yeah. what, is a, what does a head weigh, 20 pounds, five times yeah. that, 120 pound head? It's, it's quite a challenging <laughs> uh, thing to, to do to put on one of these performances. It's, uh, they're right. very fit people and you need to be in order to, to throw well, the and, airplane around. And but, a couple full of ladies, a couple of those pilots are ladies, they at are. least a couple. We, we do, we have Julie Clark and Vicky Bensing, both, uh, both very accomplished women aviators. Okay, and a lot of the, you know, when I've seen the air shows, a lot of the recip smaller planes, they put on some of the best uh, aerodynamics. They can play low, they can turn really tight. Yes. And uh, put on you, a really You'll certainly see that there, with right? Vicky's performance now, okay. and, and also uh, um, with Bill Stein's performance in All the right. in we have the about edge. a minute and a half okay. left. You're the announcer? No, no. Sandy no? Sanders okay. will be the air announcer. Boss, so I'm the air boss. What's the air boss do? So, so my role is to hopefully put on a, a show that looks very impressive from the ground and co to coordinate all of those activities that happen both in the air and on the ground with the airplanes and, and probably most importantly to ensure that that happens safely and that the people who come to watch our show have an enjoyable okay. and a safe experience. All right, this is going to happen at Rancho Murrieta? May 19th. May 19th. That's right. Parking. Free kids under twelve are free. Everyone else, it's fifteen dollars at the gate or twelve dollars if you purchase. Okay, or you advance. can get the special one hundred dollar ticket. Right? One hundred dollar ticket to our VIP and performers tent. Yes, and yes, you get yes. shade that shade, way. Shade, shade, food, great seating, and you get to meet the performers. Okay, that that should be great. Yeah. I really want to thank you for coming by there, Air Thank Boss. you, Tom. Thank you. Okay, and stay with us. There's more news on the other side of the break.